today we've travelled to High Spec Precision Engineering Limited and I'm joined by Gavin. Now Gavin, what were your considerations for buying Herco machines? Um, well initially when we bought the first one, we, we looked around at lots of different machines and when we come across Herco we looked at the features for the machine itself and the control and we just decided that it looked more what we were looking for at the time. So we, we bought the first one and we had the training, the supply training that come with the machine and picked that up quite quickly and ever since then we just find it's, it's simple to use and as you can see we've branched out and bought four more since so we, we, like, we just like the way they work and the, how they laid out. Gavin, let's start with what you make here at iSpec uh, Precision Engineering. Can you explain some of the parts you make, the materials you make them from? Yeah, we, we do a massive range because we, we subcontract for basically construction industry, farming, general public. I mean, we do everything. We make parts for rock crushers, we make parts for farm sprayers, all sorts of stuff. And the materials we, we use, we go through, we make, we machine nylons, we machine normal steels, stainlesses, brass, copper, basically we, we cover the whole. So hard and soft materials? Yeah. And, yeah. and, and what about the volumes? Um, we can do batches of two or three or five, uh, right up to thousands and thousands going by what we have on some of the laves, we could do thousands. So it's safe to say you don't really know what's coming through the door from one day to the next? No, no, that's, that's part of the good thing about it because we're constantly getting interesting things to look at so it's and it's, the herco accommodates for all nature all the natures of different components that, that you, you you're getting and machining yeah yeah we we haven't had issue working through how to machine something it's 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 just simple to use and program so we find it so that's, a, that's the next point I was getting on to really, Gavin. Now, you know, with such a variety of, of work, I would assume that you're writing a lot of programs. Are you writing them directly into the machine? Yes. Yeah, yeah. We, we, certain, certain parts, if there's a feature on it that requires slightly more complicated machining, we'll use the CAD design and then we'll post it to the machine. But the majority of what we do here, we write on the control. And is that with the new Max 5 controller that I can see behind yeah. you? How, how do you find that? How easy is it? It's very easy. You write the program in blocks. Everything is simple to work out. It, it's got everything there you need. As you can see, you can draw the part. So as you're programming it, you can check, make sure that what you're doing is correct. And it just, it just flows. I mean, you can write a program quite quickly, quite a complex program quite quickly. And is, does that, is that the same on the fifth axis that you have as well? Yes, yeah, yeah, because the majority of the stuff we do on the fifth axis is positional machining. It's basically like programming a face on a three axis machine. You just then rotate the part. So once you get your head around the planes and the rotation, then it's very similar to... I've looked at some of the parts and, and, and some of them are quite complex. What are the tolerances like? What are the accuracies required? And does Erco kind of meet that kind of demand? Yes, we, we've not found any issue so far. We, we have, some of the parts we do have tight tolerances. I mean, it's, it depends on the part, obviously, but some of them do tighten them up quite a bit. And we've, we've not found any issue with holding those tolerances over hundreds of parts. So it's... Repeatability, yeah. accuracy, and yeah. speed. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah. yeah. all good, all good. And your next purchase, if you're going to buy another milling machine, would that be a Herco again? Yes, it would, yeah.